okay? I just wanted to talk to the skateboarders and the, of all ages, really the old skaters, because I want you to remember you're old and we didn't have computers and we didn't have Tony Hawk and we didn't have all these things showing us what a skateboarder is through cartoons, Bart Simpson, uh, whatever they've done over the last 40 years, they've just turned it into a circus of, of freaks and geeks. The freaks part I like because that's what attracted me to skateboarding because you did it on your own. We were spoon fed sports, sports when we were growing up, okay? And uh, not so much TV. We were really limited TV time and had to get outside. Mom has to clean the house and we got to play sports, you know? And you need another dude to play pickle. You need another guy, to, uh, three people at least to play that. And Okay, anyway, you, the skateboard come just pops up and it's very unique and, and it really draws that little kid into you. The thing is, is do you notice there's all these other sizes? I, I don't know what the, these companies only promote. This would normally be called a freestyle board, okay? From my day. I used to skateboard with, with skaters for two, three months. We, no, two months. And we lived in a hotel, lived together in skateboard mania. I lived with the best skateboarders in the world. And this was a very early time. And we all had like half of our quivers with us to just show up for this, to take everywhere with us. Because you have a freestyle board, you have a, a, a slalom board, you have a downhill board, you, you have a, um, all these other tweak out boards that we make on our own that tweak off this or tweak off that and you know anyway uh, like Ray Flores had that big Alba board and I wrote I got a picture in the magazine with it with really small the regular trucks but they look small so we're playing with stuff I'm just saying don't let your little kid die we had no computers we had to go out and do time with these things and part of the fun of skateboarding is having all these different boards all these different shapes they may, we don't know that we got to go to work. We thought that we were going to get to skate all our, our lives. Tony Hawk, all these other dudes get to skate all their lives. But they're listening to someone else. I wasn't taught to listen to the government. I wasn't, I was always taught to ask questions. I was taught to learn how to love myself before I could love others. I mean, simple, basic rules. And when you love yourself, you. The little kid in you is is your higher self that you don't want to lose on this journey called life. We we got to keep our little kids alive, all right. And uh, that's all I'm saying is keep that little kid alive and ride on all, all your boards. Have a quiver, get a quiver. I'm not selling selling anything other than my old shit. And I have a bunch of boards that nobody even knows what they are. They're slalom boards that, that these are all you know is old man rides shapes. Young guys, the cool guys ride these. And you know, in the 90s, I, I was in a contest in Elsinore and all the top street skaters were in it and none of them they had to borrow our slalom boards and none of them could turn. It was funny. No one says nothing about it. You don't know about it. That was the mid nineties. I mean, it's this has been a long ride for me. And for some reason, that computer has just taken all you cool dudes away. And that is what I'm talking about is keep your little kid alive. Keep the magic alive because life is hard enough out there. It's hard enough to work, do all this job shit. I think if you remember, this thing keeps you alive and you gotta keep, keep skateboarding alive because it's the only thing you can do that's not on a team. Well, it's a sport now. 
but who knows if it'll stay that way. Because I don't think anybody knows what they're doing. I really don't.